Welcome back. In this video, we are going to change this again for a lower raised lake and then a somewhat of a mountain or at least something raised over here. I'm going to find out what I'm going to do whilst I'm doing it. And I have company up here today. She's doing something with some yarn. I don't know what's called. And him and her. So that's what you might be able to hear in the background. I'm munching on their bones. And in the last video, I also said that I would do this over here. I forgot. So if I remember this time, I will do that as, as well. And then that little one over there has done something. She has built her own rendition of a... Uh, of a Lego set or two Lego sets. If she's gonna finish it, it's gonna be in this one. If not, you're gonna see it at some other point. But it is, I would say, 80% done, so we just need the, the last. But let me take this out and start to redo it all. We're gonna start with this. Um, the only thing we really got to do is to make all of this the same level as this and then plane this out a little bit more. So let's get to it. And now we have it back in the city. Also tiled the, the water uh, here. There is still a few places that I have to do uh, small things, for example here, but Rome wasn't built in one day. So, but it already looks better, I would say. It's not that s s steep of a slope or gradient, uh, whatever you will call it. So I actually, I actually like this. Sorry. Um, so now we just need to do the others. I think I need to have some more support right there. Doesn't feel right. I have to figure that out. But the uh, lake over here have also done the first part or some of it. Um, yeah, for some reason. <laughs> I um, th This is not the, the worst part, it's just a, a big lake. So I still need to tile this and I need to do the other end or the other 48 by 48 plate that has to go here where we're gonna have a small mountain. So let me see if I have enough pieces to do this. I don't think so because I have to make it slope downward. And I only have the big pieces and I have a few of these. So I don't think I have enough, but let me get this done at least. So let me tile it and put it back and I'll show you. Holy, yep. I had to use quite a lot of, of pieces for this. Uh, it needs to be supported. Or else it would just cave in so I would rather use too many pieces than too few so up here you can see the uh, the greens I still need a an, an 8 by 8 uh, piece and I know that this, it, this doesn't fit an 8 by 8 but I've I've made everything 6 by 6 all the way around and most of the pieces um, conforms to that and I want to show you this, yes, I am actually pretty proud of it. It's the first time that we have tried to, to do uh, a rock wall. And we did use two of the rock pieces, the big rock pieces and then a small rock piece. Also, it's just, just slope pieces. And I am almost running out of them, or at least of course, I do have some, but I'm running out of those <laughs> that, I, that I need. And we also did on this side. I haven't done anything over here yet, but that is because uh, I still need to have some kind of a stair going down or at least some, some place, somewhere that they can uh, access this. I don't know about this up here. I want, to, I would like to have it a little bit more curved. So I need to figure out what to do there. It's a little bit difficult to make a, a Lego wall curve. And the same thing over here. I think I have an idea to this, but I still I still need to figure it out. But I'm I'm not done at all. Done the 
water down here as well. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. But let me put it into uh, to the city and you can see how it looks with all the rest. That looks quite good. It might look better at night when there isn't any light from, from the window over there. But I do think that it, it looks good. I don't necessarily regret making the, uh, the lake lower so that we could do this little uh, rock wall. But uh, I was a lot of work, it was a lot of pieces. And we are gonna do something about the, um, the wall over there. So it's gonna be some kind of a rock wall as well. Uh, how, when, I don't know yet. But there's a lot of, of things to do. I was thinking that I could also put some, some pieces in here, some, some minifigures and some trees and, and stuff, but uh, doesn't it look good? Oh, yeah, of course, this isn't supposed to be here. Her crocheting stuff, but I like it, I really do. And just so we don't forget it for the second video in a row, uh, we are going to do the uh, the bush, the hedge uh, around here. So all we are going to use is uh, these leaf pieces. We have a quite a, a good amount and a few of these. So I will just put them up here. So it's going to look a little bit like what we see over here, just a little bit taller. We did start here. Um, so let me just put it in and you can see how it looks. And now we have a hatch I know it's it's a little bit I was about to say bricky um, but I, I, I do like it so now these children uh, playing on this little carousel or what you will call it um, doesn't have to worry about going out to the train tracks but it looks very good and back to this, I've used the last of my big plates, so now this is in the right level over here, so I just need to get something over here. And I also need to do the stairs, so I will try to see what I can come up with. Uh, it might not be the right colors, but I will just try to work around to see how it's supposed to be done. So let me try to make this look good. It isn't at all the right colors, but I do think it looks quite good. Now my problem is only that I th have thought about if I maybe rather would have to, I wanted to have it in the back over here. So instead of being about, I think it's about a base plate, a little bit less, a little bit more, something like that, but having it like that instead. But that would just mean that I had to redo that once more. So for now, I'm gonna keep this, but I have to figure it out before I'm gonna do that. So right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it like it is because I do, I do like it. I very much like it. But uh, I have another thing that I have to do. So let me show you. We have started plating or base plating the uh, the area Mrs. Lunenbricks is going to have. And no, this is not the plates that we are going to use, but that was the plates that we missed or didn't have. So here you see it. We have put up all the green plates that we had, but we have reached a little bit of a problem. And that is it doesn't fit completely. I could just take everything, take this and push it down. Um, I do have the space for it down here, but that would just mean that this would go out of, just, just out here, it would poke out a little bit. Not up by a lot, by a, um, I think it's about a stutter or something like that, but I would know. And that's why I am gonna move the entire city. <laughs> So I have to move everything about one stud to the left because that is pretty much, or half a stud, that's pretty much what, what's the, what the disalignment is. And then I can show you here. When I do it like this, put it up there, it almost fits here. And then it a little less almost fits here. And if I put it up here, where I have the last, 
it's about a stud. So I have to move it all, but the thing I, I will do is that I will just use this as a guide and I will put everything up this way. But now that I have it all mills plated, it's a lot easier. It will require me moving that a bit, but it shouldn't be a problem. It's a nice little thing to do. But let me let me just move it all or scooch uh, it over a bit so that we can get the uh, last plates in here. It's gonna be good. I would love to think that you could see the difference, but I'm pretty sure you can't uh, since it's only a small change. But we did uh, move all of this. So now there's a straight line all the way down here. And there is pretty much plates on everything. We do have a few extra green plates. I think we have two full base plates and some half base plates that have been cut. And then of course there is a few sets down there that has their own base plate. I'm talking about the diagonally. If they are going to be in the city because there is a few sets that hasn't been built yet that has to go up here. One of them is the uh, before mentioned mock that Mrs. Lunibrix is making at this moment. It isn't done so I haven't shown it to you yet. Um, but there is also a couple of sets down here. So we have of course the uh, Lion Knight's Castle. We have the medieval, no that's not the medieval, what's it called? The Viking Village and the uh, the Snow White that also has to be there and then there is a Christmas set that of course isn't gonna be over here. So it's it's coming along now, now it's, it's not a bare table, now there's at least something. And I think it's her plan that she wants to have some kind of forest here and then... Yeah, I'm not inside her head, but all of these sets has to go somewhere. Not the cars, of course, that's mine. But everything from here and down... Yep, yeah, that's also... Um, maybe, except the... Uh, the Harry Potter sets. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm very satisfied with what we have done at the moment. And just so I don't forget, I did say in the start of the video that we would show you the mark that Mrs. Lunibrig has made out of these two sets. Um, but it was only if it was done and it's not done at the moment. Uh, it is very far along, but still need some, some details, but just wait for hopefully the next video, which will show what what she has done. So right now it is behind this uh, for dramatic effect. So if you see a little bit of it, just count yourself lucky. But in the next video, I promise you, I will show you no matter how far we have come with it or no, how far she has come with it. But just to show that we did put up an extra row there of the green base plate. So now it is only these eight base plates that we need to figure out what to do with. We still do have some blues that we might use for water. We still have to see if her sets actually fit over there. Because there is the problem, for example, the uh, Lion Knight's Castle. It has to be quite far out so don't hit the wall I don't know if we have to change it up so that all of this will be in a different part of the city but right now we're gonna keep it over here it's I think it's nice to to have it to have it uh, separated um, but let's see I also I'm also thinking of using this station because there is this uh, track over here so I might do a turn in here. Uh, I know that Mrs. Lunibrix wanted to have a train all the way around there. I won't go further now because then you're going to see the house. You can see the shadow of it. Um, but I, she, she doesn't think that it will 
that it will fit uh, in the back. So we'll just cut it off by putting a station over here, I think. But that's Mrs. Looney Briggs's area. So that's her call. That was all we had to show you for this video. We have come quite far with this little rebuild of the city. Not done at all, but hopefully we'll never get completely done. Uh, we've made this, I was about to say finished, not finished. We plated the area over here. Mrs. Lunabricks is very far with, uh, with her mark. And all in all, it's, it's looking good. Uh, she is also, she's also started painting the uh, back over here. So we just need to let it dry. No, we just need to paint it a couple of times more and let it dry over here. Haven't painted the wall yet. So that's also something. And then we can start putting up the, uh, the Christmas sets down there. Maybe even the Harry Potter sets, but we hope you have enjoyed this little journey of ours, this little video. If you did, thank you. If you didn't, nothing much you can do about it now. So I hope you will like and subscribe and comment and share. Tell us if you think we are doing something right or even if we're doing something wrong. It has helped a lot in this rebuild of the city. So until next time, bye.